Welcome to this video. Over the next few minutes, we will show you what's new in Sage 300 version 2023 product update one. This latest version presents additional functionalities and superior user experience through general improvements and Sage 300 cloud web screens improvements. Let's start by looking at the general improvements available in the Sage 300 cloud web screens and in the Sage 300 classic screens. The user activity report is a new feature included in this release for Sage 300 classic screens only. Users are granted login and logout information permissions in the administrative services module. This report prints a log of user activities for the company database. And it is important to note that this feature is only available to the Sage 300 administrator user. Sage 300 Desktop now supports three types of 1099 forms. Interest Income Form, Miscellaneous Information Form, and the Non-Employee Compensation Form. You will now be required to file via Atrix integration within Sage 300. Note that the AP Electronic Filing screen is no longer available in AP Periodic Processing. In the AP Vendor Reports, we have repurposed print 1096, 1099 forms to 1099 filing. It is important to note that this is a paid feature, so the customer will be onboarding and subscribing with Atrix, which is outside of Sage 300. Now let's have a look at web screens improvements. If you use Sage 300 project and job costing, you can now use it to create groups of general ledger accounts, which you assign to contracts to identify the general ledger accounts to which you post project and job costing transactions for each contract. You can now use PJC charges to record amounts that you charge your customers for services or fees for which you have not incurred any cost directly, such as registration fees or prepayments on a project. If you use retainage accounting, use this screen to enter opening retainage balances for contracts you are transferring to Sage 300 project and job costing from another job costing system. You also use the screen to update the retainage payable or retainage receivable for contracts, projects, and categories. If you have a project for which you've recorded transactions, and your customer approves changes to estimates for the project, use the PJC Revise Estimates screen to enter the changes. In Inventory Control, you can now set up bills of material if you plan to assemble or repackage inventory items to create a supply of master items to sell. You can use the Assemblies Disassembly screen to enter and post assemblies and disassemblies of master items from component items. To learn more about the new web screens and features available in this release, please refer to the Sage 300 Cloud Web Screens Online Help or the Sage 300 Cloud Web Screens Getting Started Guide.